According to these incorporation papers, Youth Force Ministries Church International formed in Warrior back in 1996, but it is the growth it's experienced over the last three years, which is sparking promises of development and critical questions from former members and the community. Welcome to Warrior. The quiet town is home to 3,200 residents and a booming church with big plans. Frank Baird grew up here and has noticed Church International recently drawing worshipers from across the country. Most of the license plates of the cars that attend are all out of state. And Baird has also heard about the church buying up land all over town. If you include this former Fred store, an entire block of Lanya's furniture buildings, and this Locust Fork retreat in nearby Trafford, the church has bought 21 properties worth $8.5 million over the last three years. Now that aggressive real estate approach is sparking suspicions from residents like Baird. It's, it's scary and it's overwhelming that a organization could have that much power in our city that they are able just to come in and do as they please and purchase property. Warrior Mayor Johnny Raglan says they do not regulate who purchases what parcel. I have no control over who buys or who sells. You know, that, that you don't do that as a city. In a letter to the city about its recent acquisitions, the church's attorneys wrote, one way for Church International to bless Warrior is to help empower business visionaries to fulfill their dreams by providing them with excellent business locations at highly affordable rental rates. They claim possible tenants for the Launius buildings could be a clothing boutique, movie theater, or a steakhouse. Coming soon yard signs are starting to pop up here and there. We're just trying to take properties that's been vacant for so many years and somebody's willing to put money in them and bring businesses back. Apparently, the church's desire to develop property is not new. Andy Alvarado once served as Church International's youth pastor and remembers goals to expand its footprint a decade earlier. They wanted to get as much land as they could. And that was a long time ago. But according to records we found, the church did not have the same resources back then that it does now. In its most recent 990 filing to the IRS in 2018, the church stated it spent $33,000 more than it brought in, but it did list nearly $300,000 in assets. Fast forward a few years, and the church is able to buy property worth more than $8 million. Where did the influx of money come from? In May, Alabama's Department of Revenue sued the church, seeking compliance with a subpoena for the church's financial records. In its response, Church International's attorneys claimed it had provided all documents to which the state was entitled. They also acknowledged the church's more humble beginnings, before church founder Robin Bullock appeared on a global evangelical show where the self-proclaimed prophet claimed to have predicted the pandemic. In 2016, I, I heard this word from the Lord that there was coming a harvest of sickness in the earth. The appearance was a line of demarcation. Perhaps because of the timing, the audience, or society's need for his message, Youth Force Ministries' presence grew in exponential fashion from that point forward. When we stopped by Church International's campus to try to speak with someone for this report, the door was locked. We did reach their attorney, who told us to rely on their letter to the city and public records. Baird just hopes whatever is coming helps his hometown prosper. Do you feel that their land acquisition is affecting the fabric of your hometown? It's, it's caused a lot of animosity between people. Uh, it's caused a lot of animosity between citizens and the local government. That brings us back to this building. The church bought it too, pledging to shake things up in Warrior and beyond. In the last few weeks, the State Department of Revenue dropped its lawsuit against Church International in its motion to dismiss. Its lawyer simply stated the case was no longer necessary.